asked him what was going on, if he was cold, and he said yes. He said, go, come on in. And then he asked us to dial 911 because he had done something bad. And then he'd probably go to jail for it, prison. That freezy Minnesota woman and her husband say they woke up early yesterday morning to a man knocking at their door. They didn't know at the time that the man who asked them to call 911 would later be facing charges of second degree homicide. And now that woman, along with the family of the murder victims, are asking why they were killed. Valley News Team's Melanie Palmer has our exclusive interview tonight with the woman who may have been the first person to encounter the man facing murder charges. What? was a turn in events, we don't know. They have no idea what happened. Peggy J lives across the street from where two people were found dead on Tuesday. J tells us she's lived there for almost 10 years now, but she never imagined something as horrific as this would ever happen there. This is a shock to everybody. And if it's not a shock to everybody, oh my God, I don't know how they, how it couldn't be. And now her thoughts are with the family, who are looking for answers. They're just as dumbfounded and confused and why is really a question that they got on their heads today. The victims have been identified as Denise McFadson and her son Dalton McFadson. Jay had always known her longtime neighbors to be nice and very helpful. They're good people. They're, you know, they, they, they work hard, just ordinary people out here in the country trying to make a living. Jay and a family member of these victims tell me the suspect was someone the family was trying to help. They were helping him out, trying to get him straightened out, and they, he had a job, they got him a job, you know, so things were going good. And now Jay and the family are trying to figure out what went wrong. In Frazee, Melanie Palmer, Valley News Live. The man accused in the murders, right there on your screen, 21-year-old William Lynn Hillman. He is in custody on two charges of second-degree homicide. Hillman is expected to make his first court appearance tomorrow.